Today I'm going to teach you six phrasal verbs related to buying. There's also going to be a quiz at the end just to test your knowledge. So the first phrasal verb is to snap up. Snap up. I'm going to give you an example and you can guess what snap up means. So, you're in the shops, you're walking around, you see something, let's think it's a pair of shoes, a pair of shoes that you love. You go closer, you notice it's on sale. It's in your color, it's in your size, and you want it. And you snap it up before anyone else can buy it. Okay, snap up means when you have an opportunity to have something and you don't want to let it get away. Now we come to pick out. Pick out is when you can choose from a selection of items. So, maybe you're looking for t-shirts. You see that there's five different t-shirts and you want to buy one for your brother. You decide on the one that's the best for him and you pick out the t-shirt that you feel is the best present for your brother. You could say, I picked out a special present for my brother. Shopping around turns us into a little bit of a detective. Why? Well, shop around, again, shop around makes it so that we don't just buy the first item that we see. We decide we want the item and what we do is we look for it in other shops. <laughs> we maybe look online as well and we compare prices. We compare bonuses. We make sure that it's the best item for us. So. How can we use it in a sentence? Well, I could tell you that if you're thinking about buying a laptop, the best advice I give you is to shop around and maybe see if you can get that laptop at a better price or maybe even buy a better laptop online with the same budget. Cough up. Again, cough up. To cough up is when you pay for something reluctantly. I'll give you a very easy example. Imagine that you are driving along and suddenly your car breaks down. You would have to cough up money to a mechanic. It's reluctant because you didn't really want to have to pay that money. <laughs> you wanted to use your money for something else. So that is a negative phrasal verb that we can use when paying for something. Shell out. So shelling out for something means, well, I'll give you an example. I wanted to go to the concert so badly that I shelled out a fortune for the tickets. What does shell out mean? Shelling out means not only to spend a large amount of money on something, but something that maybe you weren't anticipating to spend that much on. And now we come to a very positive phrasal verb related to buying, which is pay off. It means you've paid the total amount of something. Imagine paying for something small or something big, like a mortgage, like a loan, a student loan, a car loan. How could we use it in a sentence? After many, many years of working, I was finally able to pay off my student loan. So this is the quiz section. Let's see what you can remember. What does to snap up mean? Does it mean to take a quick photo? Does it mean to buy something quickly? Or does it mean to sell an item? Which phrasal verb means to compare prices before buying? 
Is it pick out, shop around, or shell out? I had to cough up a lot of money. Does it mean I earned a lot of money? I spent a lot of money? I saved a lot of money. I'm so glad that I was able to teach you something new today. Remember to subscribe if you want some more videos. Follow me on my social media. I post new quizzes and lessons every week. And remember, keep practicing your English. I'll see you very soon. Bye!